Hey, what is up guys? In case you're not subscribed to me, my name is Sephiroth Lionheart. And if you guys are watching this, then you're interested in what deck is topping Dueling Network at the moment. Now the short answer to that is obviously Bougins, since I'm the number one rated duelist at the moment. Which sounds arrogant, but whatever, you know, I worked really hard at this. And this is a deck that I've, you know, pretty much perfected the best I can for singles. And it can stand up to Dark Worlds, no matter how you know, broken they are in singles. It can stand up to Elemental Dragons, no matter how broken they are. It's a really strong, powerful deck. And I'm just going to go through a few things with you, so that you guys can get the knowledge that you need to help build yourself a really strong deck here. So, of course, if we're going to be using Bougians, we're going to need to use an OCG and a TCG variant, because the TCG does not have Shadow Spectres out yet, which is basic, you know, it really is the dependency of this entire deck. So consider this kind of a preview of what you could expect at your locals or regionals. Now, of course, you want both the Bougian Beast Warriors at three respectively. And for TCG players, there is a discussion going on whether Centipede is any good. And personally, of course it is. You know, it's better than Lance, it's better than MST. Why? Because at the moment I have to run three Royal Decrees. Now, you may say, why would you run three Royal Decrees? In singles, it's very much necessary. In singles, it's, you know, evil swarms everywhere, dark worlds are possibility, skill drains are everywhere. You need Royal Decree, and it's more powerful to have a Royal Decree than to have MST. Now, the main thing about that is, if you use Royal Decree, it stays on the field, of course. But, you can also search out the centipede, put it to your grave, and then banish it so that you can destroy a spell or trap on the field. You use Quillen on face-up continuous traps or continuous spells, or field spells if it's something like a, a Dragon Ravine. And Kaiser Colosseum is a very strong card this format, so it is usually the case with Bougians that you want to create a wall, just a one monster wall that will defend you from anything that will come at you. They cannot place monsters on the field that would exceed the amount of monsters that you have. That also includes that if they already have monsters on the field, that they can't further exceed that amount. So if they had a Drago sack on the field before you summoned your Bougian Yamato, they can't summon tokens to defend it. And just so you guys know that that triple turtle uh, discard is what would have made me win anyway. He had absolutely no hope after that turtle discard. And there you go guys, that's how I reached uh, 1400 rating. Um, you know, you can see it for yourselves as the video continues. And, you know, it was a really long journey. It's um, still going on because everybody wants to get to the top. And what you'll see is a few of the other duelists here. And I'll explain what they're running so that you have an idea of what's topping the meta at the moment for Dueling Network. Uh, Generation Zero runs a Dark World deck. Uh, Gwenzis runs an Elemental Dragon deck. Uh, Supreme Lord of Pain, he runs a Medolce deck, uh, he was actually, and sometimes he'll run an Exodia deck, but he mostly runs a Medolce deck, which I suggested to him um, from a previous video with Medolce's that topped. Um, Jihao, he runs a Dark World deck as well, um, and Sinner runs a few other decks. So the rest of them, you know, they're, they're good duelists, I'm not saying that they're not good duelists, it's just that... I don't see many other archetypes that I wouldn't expect except for Pains, uh, which is Medolce's. Medolce's are, you know, as you can see, is uh, the top four. He's number four. So, you know, Medolce's can get to the top. And the rest of it is just exactly what you would expect from singles. I want to thank you guys for watching. I know some of you wanted a deck profile, but after my last video with Medolce's topping, um, I included the deck profile in that. It's still a viable, it's still a great deck, but it just didn't get the views and the likes that I was thinking it might have gotten, and it wasn't getting shared to the point where I thought it was a good idea to keep that going. And most of all, really, I don't believe in net decking. I believe that everyone should be able to build their own deck with their own two hands, and no card is useless. I'm very much like the thinking of Yuse, where no card is useless. Different cards mean different things to different people. And what card may be bad to you, may not be bad to someone else. So if you want a deck profile, I may cover it in the future. You know, it's one of these things where if you share this video and like it enough, then I might change my mind on this, I might change my mind. 
but until that time I want you guys to build it yourself. This is about me helping you to build the deck, not to just copy and paste. Otherwise I may as well just post a picture of the deck profile and then be done with it. So I hope you guys can appreciate that and thanks for watching.